it is finally Friday, April 26th. Not that being Friday really means anything to me because I have to work all weekend anyway, but it is starting to rain a lot just as I'm heading out for a run. I think I actually have to go back in and get a baggie for my phone so it doesn't get soaked. I'm only gonna do maybe like six or seven miles today. And yeah, I'm kind of woke up and I was kind of excited today. I like feeling like that. And yeah, that's it. I gotta go get going because it's early. I'm actually getting out early and I'm gonna take my time and I'm, I'll be late. So I'm gonna go, bye. I'm back. I did eight miles. Overall pace is like 827. But look at this. Do you see this mess? As a, like a little bit in, like a mile in or so, I was like, I probably should have braided my hair or something because I knew this was gonna happen. Like I can't even get my fingers through this. This is not fun to try to get out. It's really not, <sighs> no pun intended. But anyway, so during my run today, I, um, I warmed up for a mile and then for like the next mile, I did 30 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, 30 seconds, super quick. And then I would recover for about 30 seconds. And I did that for an entire mile. And then like the next mile or so, I just ran and then I did a couple more pickups and then went up a big, big hill. So I just tried to survive that. And then on the way home, the last couple of miles, I did some more pickups. And then for the last mile and a half-ish, I just ran flat out. So my last mile was 7.15 pace. I think before that I was in the mid sevens too. So it was a good run. I'm not gonna complain, I'm feeling pretty good. And now I'm, I think I'm gonna go do a little bit of strength training and get my butt to work. All right, bye guys. want to say I mentioned before that I was kind of excited about today and now I am even more excited because I just packed myself like the best food for the day and I just want to go to work and eat it all right now so right now for for breakfast I'm gonna have a slice of toast with avocado and an egg which is oh my god it's so good I can't wait to eat it and then Later, I don't know if I'm gonna eat it for breakfast or I mean for lunch or for dinner at work, but I made these burritos last night out of our leftover like Mexican chicken, um, chicken rice bowls. So it's like shredded chicken, there's beans, there's corn, there's like some spicy stuff. I don't know, so good. So I have that and then I took the extra avocado that I made for my, for my toast and I packed that, I got sour cream. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. It sounds so good. So I love to eat in case you haven't noticed. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go so I can eat. <laughs> Bye guys. Good morning, it's Saturday, April 27th. And I'm not really sure how far I'm gonna go today. It's kind of chilly, a little breezy, and it's kind of like misting, so. Not the best, but everything is, my jacket's still kind of wet from yesterday and I didn't have anything else handy and I was trying to get out of the house before Wyatt woke up. So that kid, man, it's like he can sense when I'm like awake, even when I'm just lying in bed. If I'm awake, like he usually wakes up right when I get up. But today I got out before he woke up, so yay, I gotta get going. And I don't know, I was thinking about doing like maybe 10 miles today, if I do 10 miles, that will put me at like 50 miles for the week. I'm not really sure I wanted to go that high, but I guess we'll see how I feel. And then I'll kind of decide on the go. All right, I'm heading out. I'll check back when I get back. Well, that was interesting. I just had a big dog come out at me. He like chased me. His owner was outside like shouting for him. And the dog was like running full speed ahead at me like making like a whimpering like kind of crazy noise he wasn't growling wasn't barking whatever but i was like is he friendly like that's all if he's friendly i'll stop and you know whatever but i thought this dog was gonna try to take my head off luckily he didn't thank god and the funny thing is that was the second dog incident i had today i'm only doing 10 miles 
The first one wasn't nearly as scary, but still, two dogs chasing me today. What the heck? And it also looks like it's gonna start to downpour any minute. So that's always good. Luckily, I'm almost home. Kind of like a mile or so to go. I did it. My first 10 miler since Boston felt pretty good compared to, I believe it was my first 10 miler last year after Boston. I struggled, like it hurt everything. It was terrible. Like my pace was 10 minutes plus, I think. And I thought I was never gonna run again. So compared to that feeling, today went spectacular. So aside from the two dogs, it was a great run. I have to uh, go and get more mace. I, I need, I usually carry mace, but my dog got a hold of my last one and now I need a new one. So my kids have opening day today for baseball, softball, and there's a parade involved this morning. And honestly, these kids are going to freeze their little badonkadonks off because it's cold. It's windy, it might even rain some more. And it's rain or shine, apparently. So this is gonna be fun. And then they have games later in the day at like four, 4.30 and five. So it's gonna be a busy day. I have to work in between and uh, that's it. At least my run's done and out of the way. Look at those clouds. I'm not sure, but it looks like rain to me. All right, so I went back and I checked out my runs after Boston 2018, and they really weren't that bad. I was really thinking that I ran a 10 miler after Boston last year, and it was terrible, but I don't know. Maybe it just felt terrible at the time, but none of the runs that I looked at were that bad and I went further sooner and I was quicker. So I don't know, it actually made me feel really bad about what I'm doing right now. So maybe it's because this, the effort level this year in Boston was a lot more than the effort that I put forth last Boston. So I'm still kind of working on recovering and stuff. I don't know, but it just goes to show like you can't compare yourself to anybody, even yourself from, you know, a year ago because now my head is all like, eh, what am I doing again? So don't do it. And it's starting to rain and I have to get out and go to this parade. All right, I will see you guys in a bit. Bye, yeah, that's right, first, buddy, first. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Wait, there's Gavin. Sunday, April 28th, and it's a nice sunshiny day. Apparently it is supposed to rain later. I don't know if that's still true, but that's what the weather was calling for yesterday. So I guess we'll see. Hopefully it's not gonna rain while I'm out because I don't have a baggie for my phone and I'm not going back in to get it. So I'll take my chances, I guess. So yesterday I heard that there are bears along some of the routes that I take. And I kind of figured that there were bears. But now there's like actual proof of footprints and stories of people's bird feeders being taken and I don't know. So I'm a little nervous now. Like I've never seen a bear. I think the only thing I've seen was like a big cat and it was pretty far away. So I saw it and I said, yeah, I think I'm gonna turn around and go back the other way now. So that's what I did, but I don't even have my mace anymore. Not that I think mace would help against a bear, but you know, it makes me feel a little bit better. Anyway, I, I don't even know when it's early. Do, do bears like, are they out? Are they nocturnal? Do they come out in the day? I don't know. I'm gonna have to, to research bears attacking people and see what I come up with. So, <sighs> all right. I gotta go get going, then I gotta go cook breakfast today for 
our campers. I'm back. I did 11 instead of 10. Overall pace was 821. I had one 638 miles, so that was pretty cool. But now I'm going to be late for work and everybody's going to be mad, so I got to go. Bye. So I'm on my way to work, but I just wanted to say that on my run today, I ran by the areas where there were bear sightings. I did not see any bears, thank God, but I did see a couple of cows. Zoom in on those puppies, the cows. Hi guys. Sometimes I scare them and they run. So that's it, cows aren't scary. Okay, gotta go. It's Monday. It's the end of April, and we had frost last night. That's no fun. At least it's not that cold now, and it's supposed to warm up to be about 60, so that's we gotta good. Get going back because we're going to miss the school bus. Where are you going? Monday. We already established that with the uh, icy windshield. I am just probably going to go pretty easy. I did 10 and 11 miles this weekend, so I'm not going to go super far today. I decided I was going to wear my running pod again. Boom. But guess what? I forgot it on the back of my pants, so it went through the wash. It went through the dryer, and I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that it actually works today. I mean, it has before, but how many times can it go through the laundry before it, it stops working? I don't know. So I was thinking, as I was driving back from dropping my daughter off, I was like, oh, there's some really cool trails. I should like hit the trails for a few miles. But then, first of all, it's kind of muddy. And second of all, I get kind of nervous because I don't know what is going on out in those trails. One, one day I ran with my brother for a little bit on one of the trails and there was like, a guy basically like camping out I don't know if he was living in a tent along this trail or if he was just spending the night I don't know what it was but it was kind of weird and if I had been by myself I definitely would have freaked out a little bit but since I was with my brother I was all right so I think about that and then a couple of years ago maybe like two years ago now we had an incident in our town where a kid was killed not a kid he was like 19 or 20 but I guess that's a kid um, he was killed out on one of the trails by one of his friends I guess in a drug deal that went bad so basically the kid was killed over like 500 bucks in some pot but like I, I just think like I don't know what's or who is out there on those trails so I probably won't really hit them up alone anytime soon. At least not until I get my mace back. So, so now I'm just gonna go do maybe like five or six miles, nice and easy, and I will check back when I get back. Bye guys. All right, I just got back from six miles, actually 6.2, but who's counting? I don't even know what my overall pace is. Let's see. I'm going to stop my watch because I didn't do that yet. Oh, I turned it back on. Hold on. What am I doing? Let's see. Save. There we go. So, 6.2. And today I felt really strong. Like, I didn't go super fast. I think my pace was like 8. 40 something it's still loading yeah 845 but I just felt strong and I felt good and to me that's great feeling strong my head was strong everything it was good it was a nice run it's a nice and shiny day good day for a run it's pretty chilly still and I think we're looking at more rain for later this week so I'm gonna enjoy the Sun while I can I'm gonna go inside and do like 10 minutes of some quick quick strength training eat some breakfast and get to work so I will check back with you guys later peace I am on my way to work 
Once again, I am excited about food. I made eggs with sauteed spinach and garlic and a slice of toast and it smells so good. I can't wait to go eat it. It's a good thing. I literally only work about 30 seconds down the road. And then for lunch last night, I made all this soup in my Instant Pot and I froze it. So I have some soup with me for lunch later today. I've got a banana, some peanut butter, some, some uh, Belvita cookies that I like a lot too. So today's gonna be a good food day. All right, I gotta go to work and eat. I wish that's what I did for a living, eat. That would be fantastic. Eat and run, that would be like the perfect job for me. Oi, all right, gotta go, bye guys. <laughs>